Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. Actually, the title is slightly different. The title is Breathing in the Clouds, Thin Air or Bad Atmosphere. And uh, this is um, what I plan to speak about. Um, well, I know that I am between um, the conference and your departure, so I'm trying to stay on time and uh, uh, hopefully you get, still can get lunch. So this is the plan, what I uh, plan to speak about, a quick fact, a few quick facts first. What is, What am I talking about? This is probably what you all know, so I can be really quick here. Um, then I will talk a little bit about bright spots in the cloud, and then I come to things that make the air thin or that make the atmosphere bad. And then, in the end, I will have a little bit of good news, what the cloud enables. And in the very end, I will try a little forecast. And that is the plan for the next, uh, well, 40 to 45 minutes. Um, let me start with the definition. Louis Cunningham from Oracle once said, and I still find this very, very appropriate, very to the point, um, cloud computing is using the Internet to access someone else's software on running on someone else's hardware in someone else's data center. That basically says it all. So, um, quick question, who, who in the room believes he or she is not in the cloud yet, in the consumer cloud? Well, probably no one. You, know, you all do various things like reading your mail on Google, uh, keeping your itineraries on TripIt or WorldMate, putting things in Dropbox, be connected to one of the many social networks, and uh, listening to music and tweeting and uh, pointing your location um, wh when you're on the go. So these are all uh, applications in the cloud that we have gotten used to. So the question is, what about companies? Why are not all companies doing the same thing? In particular, in light of the fact there are so many success stories. I mentioned it on, on, on Wednesday, one of the uh, big cloud uses recently was the landing of Mars rover Curiosity, which was broadcast live by NASA using um, using um, the Amazon cloud. And there are many other successful businesses like Airbnb, Flipboard, Mandalay, Redbus in India, the Internet Movie Database, Urban Spoon for reserving tables, um, the NASDAQ QMX, I will show this in more detail later, Yelp and Netflix. Um, and my basic question um, is, as in, in the presentation that I gave two days ago, what makes it hard for non-IT, small and medium enterprises to move to the